Well, hey guys, it's Spiffy Guy, and I'm back here with another video. We're doing uh, some gear modification on the Alice Pack, and I thought I would bring you along for the ride here. So uh, what you're looking at is an Alice Pack set up as a uh, chainsaw pack. Now, in a previous video, I had made a PVC frame, and I don't know if you can see that in there, but there's this sort of L-shaped PVC frame uh, as a way to extend the length of the Alice Pack frame. Now, the Alice Pack is designed to be a lumbar support uh, frame because it goes with the load-bearing equipment, so it needs to ride higher on your back. Uh, if you're not using that, it, uh, it becomes a little bit uncomfortable if you put a lot of weight in there. So I created this PVC frame to uh, basically lengthen the, the frame for my back size. And it worked out okay. Uh, I'll flip it over here and change the camera and show you some of the, uh, the issues. But what happens to PVC when it's cold is it gets a bit brittle. And it did break right down here, and I don't know if you can see that, right down here by the, uh, the joints. And I had uh, a problem uh, in a couple different joints, mainly though on this shelf area. Uh, I was able to fix it out in the field. I just whittled down some sapling sticks and shoved them in there and put the PVC back together and it worked fine. I never had an issue carrying a full pack with a chainsaw in it for six miles. It felt really good. So the idea would be that I would eventually replace this frame with some sort of uh, aluminum. Um, possibly, I don't know if I can bend conduit, um, you know, like the electrical conduit you buy at Home Depot. Uh, I don't know if I can make those, those right angles uh, or not. So something I'm going to play with in the future. But right now on this particular video, I'm going to be modifying the pack. So let me uh, switch the uh, camera around. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so if we take a look right here, you can see that there's this, uh, this joint. I'm going to try to zoom in here. Uh, this is a new camera, so I'm not sure what the zoom in will look like. Uh, but we'll take a look here. And you can see that I've epoxied it uh, right around in here. And what I did is I, I whittled up a, a stick, uh, a dowel that I had to fit in there, uh, shoved it in there, and then um, I hammered this home and I had epoxy in both places. So that should hold well enough until I can get a new frame made. Uh, this is really nice because the, um, the shelf here allows you to actually set the, uh, the pack down right on here with the saw in it and it doesn't fall over. I think on a final prototype, uh, I would probably extend this maybe about another inch to inch and a half and it would just give it a, a bit more of a, of a platform. So if we take a look at um, some of the modifications I have made, let me adjust the camera here. Uh, the original Alice pack came with um, some sort of uh, strap connection much like this one. It was difficult to get undone. I had these extra buckles, so I went ahead and put those in there, and that makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the pack. Um, they are not the field expedient replacement ones that have the split in the middle of the, the um, buckle. So these are actually just tied on with some paracord. But I'm gonna make some changes because of the way that the, uh, the saw fits in the pack. So let me adjust it again and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what we're doing is we're looking at the top of the pack here. Got a nice little grab handle up here. And this is the lid. And so the lid is nice and floating. The problem is, is the saw blade, when you put the body inside of the pack, and it, it does fit uh, just barely. Um, you can see right here is the edge of the, uh, the bag when you slide it in there. And the grab handle of the saw just kind of gets wrapped around there. It's, um, it's sturdy enough to work, but I'm wondering if perhaps a large Alice pack might be a better option just to have a wider opening. But regardless, this lid works fine, except for right here. Um, the saw blade needs to come up through this section right here, uh, and that way the lid can lay flat. Right now, I just had the lid up against the blade of the saw. So what my intentions are is we're gonna go ahead and strip the lid off. So the lid will come off. We'll take some Velcro, and all I have is white Velcro, but it'll get dirty. And we're just gonna sew that on there, on um, both the lid and the actual bag itself. And then once, what that'll allow us to do is Velcro the lid up there and leave a gap right here so the blade can sit through. So now as opposed to the lid um, going down over the bag, the lid will actually come up and Velcro at the top. So the buckles will need to be changed. So I'm gonna take the, um, 
the other end, the female end of the buckle, and I'm gonna sew that on to here, and then the male end will come up from the top and tighten down. And that way the lid will, will float and come off to the front. And I really like this idea of the lid where it opens up on the inside. I got my sit pad in there. You can put a notebook, things like that, that you're gonna need. So the lid is very useful. And by doing this, you'll be able to um, waterproof your bag just a little bit and the blade will slide up through here. So I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna strip the stitching and we're gonna hand sew that on there and I'll get back once it's done. Okay guys, so here is the final product. I have moved the buckles of the strap up to the top of the pack. What I did is I took uh, three inches of strap and I cut it off and, and looped it back on itself. And I uh, just sewed it in there if I can get this undone one-handed. These buckles, by the way, are ITW Fastex. So in case you need to look them up, you can find them on Supply Sergeant, I think, or Supply Captain. So anyway, just kind of give you an idea. I just looped it around. I did a little box with a, a back stitch. That's all I did there. The only stitches I've used are a back stitch and a whip stitch or a locking stitch. And those are what I did along the sides here just to kind of hold those together. And so the straps have been moved up to the top. The, uh, the excess strap here, let me zoom down here. So the extra excess strap, I just sewed on the bottom. Once again, I did a... Um, just a square stitch, whip stitched along the side. This was a pain because essentially there's three uh, widths of, uh, of um, webbing right there. So three um, sections of webbing and it makes it difficult to go through. So a thimble and a pair of pliers are your friend. You want good strong needles. You want short needles if you can because otherwise they'll bend. So up here at the top, once again, I just used the, whatever I had which was just this white Velcro. This is a prototype. So if all this works out, eventually I will buy a new Alice pack and make it uh, much more better, uh, as we say. So the idea would be that um, if you're using the pack normally, you would just use it like that. If you're using it with a saw, you could, um, you basically, you just attach this up there and strap it up. But this part would be able to be open in your saw blade would come up through there. So that's kind of the idea. Um, some issues that I ran into, normally these straps would go through the lid. Uh, you can't do that with this on here because the, um, the buckle doesn't go through that um, section of webbing. So one option would be to make it wider. Keep in mind that this is a pocket, so you'd have to kind of sew it um, from the inside and through that might be a bit of a pain, but that would allow you to, uh, you know, put the buckles up through that if you wanted to. Uh, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue because you'd be able to basically just kind of strap that down nice and tight and that would hold your, your lid in place. So that's what I'm going to run with. Uh, I believe uh, this weekend I'll be carrying a saw, so I'm going to try that. Uh, further upgrades to the Alice pack would be to um, update the frame. Uh, from PVC to uh, some sort of metal, whether it is uh, the electrical conduit, as I mentioned, or um, getting it fabricated in aluminum. Uh, the issue with the electrical conduit, I know that you can bend it using a pipe bender, but I don't think that you can do the 90 degree angles that you're going to need right up here at the top, right here, and then down on the frame uh, section for the shelf right in here and there. There are, um, if you haven't seen the video for the PVC, I'll put it at the end, but there is a cross piece here and one up uh, in, in the mid as well. And those have a slight bend to them. But once again, if you're welding, those are gonna be your weld points. So if you had uh, an aluminum rod and you could do the, um, the right angles, then the cross pieces would be the only part that you would need to weld and you could weld right here at the cross piece, one on each side, right here. And then where the pipe came together at the bottom, you could weld that too. I don't know what the cost of fabrication is like that though. Uh, the idea behind this was to uh, make a cheap uh, replacement for some of the current saw packs we have. Uh, the saw packs that we have are made by a company called Daikin, and I'm sure they're really great packs, but they put the saw on the outside of the pack, which puts the weight further away from your body. 
and there is no frame in the pack and so it becomes very heavy. So that, that was the whole idea behind this project. And if I could buy an Alice pack for 20 bucks online and put together a frame fairly cheap, if I had you know, 50, 60 bucks into the whole thing, it takes me a little time to uh, you know, do uh, this Velcro and uh, strap modification but I'm willing to volunteer that time if we can come up with a couple cheap packs to replace that are nice and comfortable. Uh, so that's pretty much about it. One last other modification would be to uh, modify the, the current uh, Alice strap system. And here, let me move the camera back a little bit just so you can see. Uh, this is the regular standard Alice pack uh, straps and um, waist hip belt. And the idea would be to replace those with the Molly straps. Um, if you look up a Hellcat mod, uh, you'll find that where they, they take the, uh, the Molly frame and they essentially uh, put it on an Alice pack. And so that might be a, uh, an option there is to replace um, the straps here and definitely the hip belt. These straps work out really good and I do love the quick release on them. Uh, the hip belt though could be a little bit more uh, padded. It only has the basic seat belt width and it would be nice to have it a little bit bigger. So anyway, that's kind of what's going on with this uh, modification of the Alice pack. If you guys got any thoughts or ideas, uh, go ahead and post them up down below and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that happy jazz. And until the next adventure, just remember that life is an adventure. So go out and have one with your modified Alice pack, no less.